going to read Don't Be Picky, Clover. Clover was the youngest of Mama Bunny's ten little children, and the pickiest too. While all the other bunnies were in and out of the library and hop, Clover spent hours selecting just the right book. Her sisters and brothers were always finished with their drawings while Clover was still picking her first crayon. That's our Clover, Mama Bunny said with a sigh. When it came to eating, Clover was pickier than ever. She had grown choosier and choosier until the only food that had the right smell, the right color, and the right taste was celery soup. Clover ate celery soup for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and sometimes even for an afternoon snack. Mama Bunny tried not to worry. She hoped Clover would get tired of celery soup and start eating carrots and beans and cabbage like a good little bunny. Clover, dear, won't you try some turnip? Ask, she asked sweetly. Yuck, Clover said with a sniff. Clover's brothers and sisters ate all their vegetables. Yum, they said, licking their lips. This carrot is delicious. But they weren't fooling Clover. There was no way she was going to eat a carrot. Finally, Mama Bunny decided to ask Grandma Bunny for help. Grandma Bunny, Bunny smiled when she heard Mama's story. Clover sounds like another little bunny I knew a long time ago. She chuckled, you send her to me. I think I know just the thing to do. And so the very next morning, Mama Bo Bunny sent Clover over to visit Grandma. Good morning, Grandma cried, wrapping Clover in a big bunny hug. You're just in time to help me in my garden. Grandma handed Clover a little basket. Let's see what looks good for dinner. That's easy, said Clover. Celery. Grandma nodded. Oh, sure, she replied. But there's more to eating than that. Clover shook her head. Not for me, there isn't. I only eat celery soup. Is that so, Grandma asked with a grin. Well then, we'll make some celery soup for you. Grandma's garden was blooming with brightly colored vegetables, red beets, orange carrots, green cucumbers, and yellow corn. But Clover only had eyes for the tall, pale stalks of celery. I'll pick the celery, she declared. When Clover had picked plenty of celery, she noticed Grandma was filling her basket with many different kinds of vegetables. What are you doing, Grandma? We don't need beans and onions and lettuce for celery soup. Well, Clover, we're only making celery soup for you. I'm having surprise soup. It's full of all different kinds of vegetables. The taste they make together is always a delicious surprise. Would you like to help me pick these tomatoes? Clover thought for a moment. There didn't seem to be any harm in picking different vegetables as long as she didn't have to eat them. So Clover and Grandma spent a happy hour picking tomatoes, onions, and many other vegetables for surprise soup. Back in the house, Clover and Grandma began to rinse the vegetables they had gathered. Then Grandma put two pots of water on the stove. To one pot, Grandma added the celery that Clover had picked. Your celery soup will be done soon, she said. Would you like to know a secret, Clover? Grandma asked. A secret? Clover explained, exclaimed, her eyes widening. Clover loved secrets. Yes, lots of bunnies have asked me for my recipe for surprise soup, but I've always kept it a secret. With all the help you've given me in picking the ingredients, I think you should deserve to know my recipe. Clover felt very special. What do you do first? She asked. So Grandma showed Clover how to carefully break apart the different vegetables and add them to the pot. Then she showed Clover the special spices she used. Clover added the spices and stirred. Time for a taste, Grandma said, dipping her ladle in. Clover knew it wasn't celery soup, but it was starting to smell good. Still, she had been a picky eater for so long, she was afraid to try something new. She said, no, thank you. I only eat celery soup. Grandma grinned. You know, Clover, she whispered. When your mama was just a little bunny, she never liked to eat anything but turnip pudding. Clover looked up in surprise. But she eats all sorts of things now, she cried. Oh, sure, Grandma said. She figured out that she'd rather try new things than just sit around wondering what she was missing. She's a smart one, your mama. Clover squirmed. Didn't Grandma think that she was a smart one, too? 
At least, at last it was dinner time. Grandma set two pretty bowls on the table while Clover got the glasses and silverware. Grandma ladled out some surprise soup for herself and some celery soup for Clover. I've been looking forward to this all day, said Grandma. Clover tasted her celery soup. It tasted the same as it always did, but somehow not as delicious as she remembered. She looked at Grandma enjoying the surprise soup. The soup that Clover had gathered the vegetables for, stirred in the pot, added spices to, and learned a whole secret recipe for. Grandma, Clover announced, I would like to try some surprise soup. Without a word, Grandma poured Clover a new bowl of surprise soup. Clover closed her eyes, wrinkled her nose, and took the tiniest, teeniest taste of the soup. Then her eyes flew open. It's good, she said, sinking her spoon in for more. The next day, Clover surprised Mama Bunny by offering to make dinner for the family. I have a secret recipe for surprise soup, Clover exclaimed. Mama smiled at her littlest bunny. I can't wait to try it, she told her. And so Clover spent the rest of the day cooking and preparing while the rest of the family enjoyed the delicious smells from the kitchen. Dinner time, Clover cried. Clover held her breath as Mama and the rest of the bunnies tasted the soup. It's delicious, the bunny shouted, but it tastes different from what Grandma's. That's because this is my secret recipe, Clover explained. My secret ingredients are turnips, Mama cried, and carrots and beans and cabbage and tomatoes. Clover laughed. But guess what else I didn't guess what I didn't put in? Celery, shouted her brothers and sisters. Clover nodded, folding her arms. I chose my own ingredients, she declared. That's our clover, Mama Bunny said with a smile.